I may have to stop this because my baby's waking up, but I am six weeks postpartum with baby number two today. And this is like my first check-in. There he goes. I go quickly. I'm really struggling to find somewhere where there's something I can sit the camera on and fit my whole body in. But six weeks postpartum with baby number two. Today I'm signing up to the gym again. Um, this is what we're working with. This is completely relaxed, but a bit of a fupa. Is that what it's called still? I don't know. These. And wait, how do people do it like this? To show their arm flab. You know, um, this. And some love handles. I know from last time, like my stretch marks really faded after I got back down to my pre pregnancy weight, but like we've got this, and I've still got my linear line. Um, and yeah, this is it. Measurements, I'm not going to like measure my whole body but I'll tell you what size so this is one of the rockwear maternity bras um this is in a 12 so their other bras have like the size and the cuff but the maternity bras are just like t-shirt sizes so this is a 12 these are their scrunch bum pants and these are in a 12 as well. A 12 is the biggest I've been my whole adult, adult life. Um, like even pregnant, I was like a 10 in maternity wear. Um, so yeah, honestly, I think that like, I've probably gained a little bit of weight in the last six weeks just because, you know, you're so hungry with breastfeeding. I have no idea how much I weigh. Um, I'm also sick, that's why I sound like this. I have no idea how much I weigh. Um, I didn't weigh myself when I found out I was pregnant or at all throughout my pregnancy, my midwife didn't weigh me at all and I don't own scales because um, I can't be trusted to own scales. I would become fixated on them. But I think for the purpose of this video and like this journey, um, when I go to the gym today, I weigh myself and let you know what I weigh. Um, this is, he's just kind of fussing. Um, this is, mostly about like making myself feel good but also for a little bit of accountability like if I put this up here you know you're going to be expecting the next part aren't you so um I'll kind of have to work on myself um but it's definitely for me um I feel weak like I feel so weak I've had not really back-to-back -back pregnancies, but I didn't stop breastfeeding throughout my last, like I got pregnant again before I weaned my son. So, and then I breastfed until I was 14 weeks pregnant the second time. So I have been either pregnant or breastfeeding since February, 2019. Um, and it's now May, 2022. So I feel like my body's not mine. I have no muscle tone. I haven't worked out consistently since then. Like. The so yeah, I have not touched a weight or anything like that in the last three years, over three years. Um, and my nutrition while pregnant honestly couldn't have been worse. Like if I wanted ice cream, I had ice cream kind of thing. So I am literally starting from scratch. Now this is a whole body like wellness kick so it's so ironic that I'm sick while I'm filming this I'm sick not because I caught something I'm sick because I haven't slept for five weeks or eaten like vegetables in pretty much a year so that's an exaggeration but you know what I mean like I'm sick because I haven't looked after myself not because I've got something um so I am not just going to the gym and working out I am really I've been vegan for six years um and like actually six years this month and oh baby please latch it's going everywhere oh my goodness um 
and throughout my six years of veganism i will have what i call whole food kicks where like we really cut down on the mock meats and we use like chickpeas and lentils and legumes instead um and eat tofu and stuff but then we'll also go through periods where we eat like a lot of mock meat what i'm aiming for is and it's hard because i'm not just cooking for myself i'm cooking for my husband and toddler as well um and they are probably a little bit more picky with their food than i am so i'm not really sure what dinners are gonna look like i'm thinking two mock meats a week one takeout a week and what does that leave us with like four whole food dinners if i eat whole foods for breakfast and lunch that's kind of like what i'm thinking with nutrition at the moment being on top of taking my supplements we i've got the healthy mummy shakes again now they've actually rebranded them as plant-based the original smoothies were always dairy free and plant-based and i had them with my first son but they've um rebranded them with like green packaging you know typical vegan marketing um and they say weight loss shake on them but i don't support products like that for weight loss reasons the reason why i take these is because they're fortified with all of the nutrients that a breastfeeding mum and anyone needs and i found last time like you don't have like if you have three minutes it's like have a piece of toast or you could make one of these shakes that has like everything you know iodine b12 like all of these nutrients in it or you know you can have a piece of buttered toast <laughs> so i take those mostly just to meet my nutrition targets yeah yeah it's great that they're sugar free and like low calorie but um, I blend them with a frozen banana anyway. And so that's something I'm doing. Ooh. But in terms of like the rest of the wellness in my life, moved all synthetic fragrance. I've got an amazing water filter in my kitchen. I've got a shower water filter now, air purifiers. I've swapped all of my skincare to low tox. Um, I've, what else? I've started going to church. I'm like spiritually working on my health. Um, I've removed so many toxic people from my life. Um, I'm learning again. I've re-enrolled in school. And with that means spending time at the library. So I'll start reading again. So I'm really approaching this from like every angle. It's not just about working out and like eating a little bit cleaner. I am like revamping my life to live clean and wholesomely wholesomely yeah i guess um you know like it's a little bit more that and it's not even just low cal <laughs> i seen this thing the other day on instagram comparing an acai bowl to something from mcdonald's and saying the acai bowl had like 500 calories and the mcdonald's item only had like 130 and it was like i can't remember what it was it was like a breakfast muffin or a hash brown or some crap like that and I was like, an acai bowl is literally blended fruit with more fruit on top. How, like the, t the two don't compare. It's not just about like being low calorie. Um, you know, looking at when I buy a sauce or a dressing, how many numbers are in the ingredients list? Do you know what I mean? Like just numbers and codes, that's not food. Um, baby's falling asleep with his hand up i'll pop it down in a second so he doesn't get pins and needles but it's so cute um but you know i'm i'm definitely approaching this from every angle um and i'm looking forward to feeling really good um for the sleep thing it's not actually the baby that's a bad sleeper it's me my problem is when i breastfeed him in the night i'm about to breastfeed him again now I tend to look at my phone to keep myself awake while I'm feeding him and then he'll fall asleep in my arms and I will then sit there on my phone for half an hour. Um, so I need to get better at like, it's hard because I need my phone for the light to latch him. Um, Cause he's, you know, six weeks old, he's still sort of, you're about to see he takes a while to latch on you right buddy you 
Okay, you can do it. So, I'm trying to get better sleep. Um, you know, we have a sound machine on at night, but I've got one of those. I can't even see where it's gone. It must have fell on the ground, but a sleep mask. So I'm gonna give that a go. Um, and yeah, sleep is probably my downfall. I believe that I get sick. Um, like when I'm not getting a lot of sleep, I always say I'm gonna get sick soon and I always do within like the week. Oh, hello there. Um, it's been a week, it's Friday now. And I thought I'd finish this up and check out. I went to the gym four times since Monday. Um, I did two weight sessions a Pilates class and cardio today. Um, I think I'm going to make like a bit of a, a schedule and try and stick to it. Um, my kids have been going to the gym daycare and liking it. I mean, Oscar, I usually put him down for his first nap as I get there. So he's asleep through the whole thing. Um, but Elliot liked it when he went um, one day this week. And yeah, I've been feeling great. I was a bit sore on Thursday, so I didn't go. Um, and now I'm thinking that actually I might make Thursday and Sundays my rest days. Um, because Thursday mornings, we actually have connect group with um, some mamas from our church. And then on Sundays, obviously we have church and the gym daycare is not open anyway. Hey, mister. Well, why don't you let go of it? He's crying because he's holding on to his dummy clip and he doesn't want to be. Okay. <laughs> Very important six, seven weeks old now. Um, seven week old baby problem. I've been feeling good. I did weigh myself on Monday when I went and I was 68 kilos exactly. Um, I'm not sure if I was like surprised by that or like, disappointed by it. I don't really know how I felt. I guess that's probably like somewhere around where I thought I was anyway. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we're at. I usually, um, like my baseline, I guess is of like, I'm busy, I'm not really working out, but I'm not eating horribly. I'm just kind of like getting through life. Weight is around like 61 to 63 kilos. Like I could fluctuate anywhere between there in a week. And then my actually looking after myself and like training properly is around 59 to 60 kilos. So yeah, I mean, I'm significantly heavier than like ever. Um, even when I'm eating really horribly um, for months at a time, I've never really gotten above 64. So 68 was sort of like, meh. Even six weeks postpartum with Elliot, I was still around like 64 kilos. So yeah, I did gain quite a bit of weight during the second pregnancy, um, which they say happens. So I'm not like, being hard on myself, but yeah, I guess this is the bridge I said I'd cross when I came to it, like throughout pregnancy when I was just being an actual garbage disposal and not moving at all. I'm thinking that I'm gonna do monthly check-ins because honestly, weekly would just be like a pain to edit. There'd be no content. I mean, what can you say? And weekly is like too frequent to check in and then you'd end up like missing one week and then it's easy to miss a second week. So I'm gonna do monthly check-ins. It's a bit hard because I started like in the middle of a month. I might make the next one though at two months postpartum. So then, because I've started at six weeks and it's also in the middle of a month, like my son was born on the 31st. So um, I might make the next one two months postpartum. So that'll be after two weeks of training. Um, and then from then on, they'll be monthly and they'll line up with like three months postpartum, four months postpartum, five months postpartum, etc. So I'll see you in a couple of weeks and then after that, they'll all be monthly updates. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next video. Bye.